ladies and gentlemen, it is Hellscream here. Uh, today we're taking a look at Rainbow Six. It's an upcoming tactical first-person shooter. This is some video footage I recorded from the beta, which ran a couple weeks ago, I believe, from late September to early October. So to cut to the chase, I want to say that I was really impressed with Siege. I thought the game's tempo was pitch perfect. And while most games like Titanfall, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3 are all pushing for faster gameplay, Siege instead focused on more dramatic, intense, and suspenseful engagements. The gameplay, yes, is slower paced, but the rounds were surprisingly quick and generally ended in five minutes. So the beta featured two types of uh, gameplay. There was Team Deathmatch, which is actually more of a search and destroy type game, where two teams go head to head and attempt to either capture or defend an objective. This was really fun to play, but requires a great deal of coordination amongst the players. We kept finding ourselves getting demolished by players who had been playing for days, and some of our teammates didn't really have headsets, so thus we found ourselves getting outflanked and now strategized at every turn by the enemy. Eventually, we transitioned over to Terrorist Hunt. In this game mode, your team is responsible for eliminating AI-controlled hostiles from a building. This was a little tricky given the AI is smart enough to wait, patrol, or even lure you into an ID-filled hallways. And the worst type of enemy in this was actually a suicide bomber that was armed in a juggernaut outfit with heavy body armor and just covered head to toe with IEDs. Even though there were only three maps, each round felt different because there were so many ways you could enter a building, scout, or clean up enemies. I thought the operator selection was pretty diverse and that each specialist was far different from the other one. I kind of wish that there were more gun attachments and customizations, but Seed still had a decent enough arsenal to keep most players busy and interested. For a beta, the graphics were solid, and gameplay was impressively fluid. There were not many bugs, glitches, or exploits. The sound was also really great. If you have a good headset, you will be able to pick up enemy footsteps and breathing. And this is really, really useful if you're the last operator alive and you cannot rely on your teammates for columns. Ah. How are you doing? I'm on the suicide bomb. All in all, Seed seemed to find a very unique place. It's definitely not a run and gun shooter like Call of Duty or Titanfall, but it's definitely more lively than realistic shooters like Arma or Insurgency. The beta was a really fun experience, and this is most likely a game I'm going to pick up later in the year. Yep. So, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great day. Eliminated op four.